for those of you who happen to be in North Africa and have around 15 bucks to spare, you too can spend the night at Luke Skywalker's place. Just don't expect five-star accommodations. So this is the one bedroom that I get to stay in here at the C.D. Dries Hotel. As you can see, a one bedroom consists of oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds, all for myself and my little friend down here. And you can see is a rather large beetle. I think it may even be a dung beetle. Um, so this is all my own private space, along with whatever critters are living in here. Uh, as you can see over here, there are some holes in the wall that allow more creatures to fit in if they so choose. We have one line and uh, no lock on the door, which is probably a good thing, at least if I start stepping on the dung beetles and I have to run for my life. So that's what it means to be a Star Wars fan, you get to stay here. But the question remains, am I staying in Luke Skywalker's room? Unfortunately, we'll never know. None of the rooms was actually designated Luke's room, so all the guests inevitably assume they're the lucky one. Well, check this out. It's Luke's house. What's muscle love? The question is, are you staying in Luke's room? I know I am. I yeah. feel that. Me too. <laughs> I, I think you are in his room. Oh, Luke's room. Yeah. I think I'm in Aunt Veru's room, unfortunately. So. Uh, yeah, you get that. Yeah, what can you do? I have a nice alcove, so I feel Luke's presence. Hey, y'all, hey, 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 hey